there is not much forecasted uh, rain uh, all the way, not only for the next couple of days, but all the way through the end of the month. Now, having said that, we have these little things called short waves, these little disturbances that kind of ripple through the atmosphere that give us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms if the uh, the ingredients are there. We're going to have uh, some moisture there and, some, of course, that uplift. And uh, that means, yeah, maybe a shower or a thunderstorm to do, uh, or two. Now it looks like mainly gonna be down in the mountains today, and then it becomes more across the area tomorrow. Again, very isolated in nature, not anticipating any severe weather, maybe some strong storms uh, today and tomorrow, which would mean well, gusty winds, um, could have hail, possibly um, some lightning. I think lightning may be the biggest concern because it's so dry out there. Uh, that would uh, heighten those wildfire concerns. So next couple of days, uh, let's just hope for no lightning and do your part. Don't do anything that's going to cause any sparking outside. We're also getting hotter, folks. Highs today, some of us may get lucky and not get out of the 80s. <clears throat> Most of us in our area, low to mid-90s, maybe even some upper 90s today, leading to our hottest day for some tomorrow where we could hit the triple digits. Here in Billings alone, a chance to maybe flirt at least with at least flirt with 100. But you'll notice we have hazy skies out there for some of uh, the next couple of days, and that may keep those temperatures down just a smidge. As we head toward the weekend, we will cool down. Maybe some of us not getting out of the 80s for the weekend, and a lot of us still in the 90s. So even though it's going to be a little bit cooler, those daytime highs and nighttime lows staying warmer than average.